Fisherman's career has been dedicated to a pretty simple premise. Uh, it just go, it goes like this. Let's acknowledge that human decision makers are less than perfect. Of course, so what? So we know this, so how do we help these less than perfect uh, individuals make the very best possible decisions? And his research and his writing is starts with that premise and says, okay, so how is it that people actually do make decisions? Very behavioral in its focus. And he starts with this notion and this reading of, yep, we have bounded rationality. This presents some challenges for us. So what is it that people do? And there's a couple of different things that he points out in the article, uh, one of which is this use of heuristics or rules of thumb that simplify decision problems. Uh, these are, are predictable, that people um, use them in a predictable way, and they, they simplify decision problems. And the reason that people use them is they mostly work, right? That it's these heuristics are become habits, they become ways of doing things, because most of the time they work, except when they don't, and sometimes they don't because they are shortcuts and they don't fully consider all of the information that might be available to us. Um, he also talks about the role of bias, which bias are, are systematic kind of errors in the information that we gather and we tend to, uh, for instance, he points out, be overconfident. Uh, we oversample things that are in our experience versus what's their real, real uh, distribution in reality, and so there are a bunch of different things, and the point of this reading is not to know all the different biases, but to simply understand that these are features of how human make human beings make decisions. And Bazerman interestingly observes that executives who are essentially professional decision makers, or people who are expected to make decisions, uh, seem to be actually more likely to use intuitive decision making, not less likely. And this is uh, an important input for us as we start to think about decision making in organizations and how organizations function as distributed um, uh, decision making systems. So executives actually make relatively few uh, decisions and uh, when they do they tend to go with intuition. Probably not a good thing so what happens instead is we use a lot of group decision making. Uh, there also are efforts to systematically provide information to people so that they can engage more in what the, what Baserman calls the slow uh, decision making. In this particular article, which is quite short, it's part of an um, experiment in open, um, open science, open teaching. The NOBA experiment is to provide people with articles by highly recognized figures that are free and this is one which fits well with our course. So what I want you to like to look for is uh, late in the article, Baseman gives a context for executive decision making, so I'd like you to um, <clears throat> you know, pay attention to that, see how it relates to the Mintzberg uh, information in particular early in the course. I'd also like you to be attentive to throughout the uh, article um, how these biases operate and while they can lead to errors, they also lead to making decision making um, fast. And why might that be the case that people uh, care about that? And then similarly understanding why people use heuristics. And again, there is this notion of the immediacy of making decisions is something that drives people. And there is a tendency to go for the immediacy, even though it is a, a possibility to uh, create more errors. Interestingly, Bazerman advises us at the same time he's describing these kind of tendencies in organizations, he describes us to slow down and make much more rational decisions in our personal life. So it's really interesting to see that contrast and the notion that that is highly available to us but things that are happening in organizations tend to work at cross purposes and encourage this rapid uh, intuition-based decision making.